In this short video, an Enterprise Optimizer model will be used to simultaneously optimize a series of integrated planning decisions for a theoretical chemical company. Building an optimization model in Enterprise Optimizer is a simple process involving the placement of a series of objects, each with unique semantic meaning, onto the diagram window. The sales object represents the company's ability to sell three products into four distinct customer segments. The conversion object represents the company's loan production facility housing three chemical reactors. The purchase object represents the company's ability to purchase five input materials from four vendors. And the inventory objects represent the storage of raw materials and finished goods at the company's loan production facility. A series of links facilitate the flow of materials through the company's supply chain. Once the process flow diagram is complete, the underlying data elements can be populated manually or imported from one or more external data sources. A new import task can be added via Enterprise Optimizer's Import Data Task Wizard. In this example, sales demand data will be imported from an existing Excel workbook. The workbook contains a sales worksheet, which includes forecast sales price, minimum sales volume dictated by the company's existing contracts, and maximum volume, which the company believes it can sell in the upcoming planning period. Once the data source has been specified, a target object class and table, in this case sales and sales activity, can be selected. An individual object can be selected as well. The wizard's drop-down menu can then be used to define the specific column mappings between the data source and the destination table or tables. When the mapping is complete, all defined import tasks can be executed individually or simultaneously by selecting Import All. The activity tables throughout the model now contain all the defined decision variables and constraints, as well as a series of operating and financial parameters, which have been imported from the external data source. The sales activity table now shows the sales forecast data mapped in the example import task. The resource activity table in the conversion object now shows labor per hour, fixed cost, downtime factor, and max straight time hours for each of the three reactors. The corresponding process activity table now shows process units per hour and cost per unit for each of the three products which can be produced on any of the three reactors. The primary distribution table defines the bill of materials for each product as well as the rate of consumption and the Purchase Activity table now shows the forecasted price per unit for each raw material, as well as the volume that must be purchased, and the volume that could be purchased. Notice all the values in the Solution Units column are undefined. This is because the model has not been solved, which can now be done without hard coding any mathematical equations. Before doing so, a financial reporting object should be added, allowing Enterprise Optimizer to calculate a forward-looking set of financial statements which can easily be customized via the Chart of Accounts. The Chart of Accounts Min and Max Balance fields can be used to define financial constraints, such as a minimum cash balance on the firm's balance sheet. The Chart of Accounts Beginning and Ending Bias fields can be used to modify the model's objective function, which by default is net income. Costs and revenues are driven to the Chart of Accounts via a series of tables referred to as transaction drivers. These tables leverage double entry accounting principles and allow the user to specify which account to credit and which account to debit as a transaction, such as when the purchase of a raw material occurs. When the solve command is run, Enterprise Optimizer uses a set of internal knowledge bases to dynamically interpret the visual diagram and its underlying data and to formulate and solve an appropriate optimization matrix. In this example, a standard linear formulation and corresponding continuous solution is all that is needed. A mixed integer matrix would be formulated if any non-continuous variables are introduced. Enterprise Optimizer would use this approach if binary, integer, or even conditional minimum is selected as the variable type for one or more defined decision variables. Solution output values for all decision variables, including how much of each product to sell into each market, how much of each product to produce on each reactor, and how much of each input material to purchase from each vendor, can now be viewed in each object's activity table. Enterprise Optimizer's internal query engine can be used to quickly view these values across multiple tables. 
The solution's optimal product mix by customer segment, for example, can be viewed by creating a simple query that includes all the desired columns from the sales activity table. Note the column next to total solution units, labeled Opportunity Value. This is a unique solution output used to quantify the marginal economic value of binding constraints in true business terms. The literal translation in this example is that selling one more unit of P101 in the adhesives market would increase the firm's net income by $13.35. Conversely, selling one more unit of P103 in the trade market would decrease the firm's net income by $15.87. Queries can also be used to drive custom tables and charts in Enterprise Optimizer's internal dashboard system. A simple column bar chart can be used to visualize the optimal product mix results. With the desired query selected, appropriate columns can be defined as the category and value axes. A series of queries and corresponding tables and charts can be used to show the optimal solution values for the company's supply and procurement plans and the associated financial statements. We hope this video has provided a good understanding of RiverLogic's unique code-free optimization platform, Enterprise Optimizer. To request a more in-depth demonstration or access to a free trial license to build your own Enterprise Optimizer model, visit RiverLogic's website at www.riverlogic.com or email us at info at riverlogic.com.